UK carriers vulnerable to anti-ship missiles, experts warn the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales aircraft carriers, two of the UK's most advanced warships, have been flagged as vulnerable to modern ballistic anti-ship missiles, ASMs, a growing concern for military experts. These carriers, critical assets for the British military's strategic power projection, were the focus of a recent training exercise in which the Royal Navy tested their defenses against new and increasingly sophisticated threats. According to a source familiar with the exercise, as reported by the Times, the carriers were subjected to scenarios involving ballistic missile attacks, with some simulations even indicating that these ships could be sunk under certain circumstances. These exercises, which are part of the UK's broader efforts to assess the capabilities of its naval assets in modern warfare, highlighted the potential risks posed by the latest missile technology, including advanced ASMs that are becoming more prevalent, particularly in countries such as China. These missiles, capable of reaching high velocities and carrying explosive warheads, are designed to incapacitate large ships with pinpoint accuracy. Despite the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales being equipped with state-of-the-art missile defense systems, the military has acknowledged that these systems cannot guarantee absolute protection against such advanced threats, particularly when deployed in conjunction with other military tactics, such as electronic warfare. Ballistic anti-ship missiles, especially those developed in recent years, represent one of the most dangerous challenges for large naval platforms like these carriers. The primary concern is the missile's incredible speed, hypersonic missiles, for instance, can exceed Mach 5, making them almost impossible to detect and intercept in time. Furthermore, the missile's ability to maneuver at various altitudes complicates their tracking and interception, as standard defense systems may struggle to adapt to rapidly changing flight paths. This makes the task of defending against these missiles far more difficult than against earlier generations of anti-ship threats. While the carriers are equipped with advanced radar and defense systems such as Sea Scepter and Phalanx, the potential for a successful missile strike remains a real concern. What sets these missiles apart from traditional anti-ship projectiles is their combination of speed, maneuverability, and stealth. In particular, hypersonic missiles can alter their flight path mid-course, evading defensive measures designed to intercept them. To make matters worse, they often work in tandem with other offensive systems like electronic warfare, which can disrupt or confuse radar systems, further hindering the carrier's defense. These threats challenge not only the defense systems but also the tactics the Royal Navy employs to protect these crucial assets. The role of the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales in modern warfare cannot be overstated. These carriers are not just symbols of British naval power. They are essential tools for maintaining global military influence. They allow the UK to project air power in distant regions, offering a mobile base for fighter jets, helicopters, and drones, and facilitating rapid response to international crises. However, as the Times pointed out, the increasing sophistication of anti-ship weapons raises critical questions about their survivability in real-world combat scenarios. Although these carriers represent the cutting edge of naval warfare, they are not immune to the rapidly advancing capabilities of missile systems. Despite the alarming risks, the Royal Navy continues to place significant emphasis on the strategic importance of its aircraft carriers. In interviews with defense officials, it was emphasized that while the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales may be vulnerable to modern missiles, their strategic value remains paramount. The carriers are designed to provide the UK with a global reach and an ability to engage in both conventional and non-conventional warfare, including power projection and humanitarian assistance missions. This ensures that, despite their vulnerability, the carriers will remain an indispensable part of the UK's military toolkit for the foreseeable future. Technological advancements offer potential solutions to mitigate some of the threats posed by modern missile systems. The development of laser-based weapons and drone swarms could play an important role in augmenting existing missile defense capabilities. Lasers, for instance, could provide a precise and cost-effective means of neutralizing incoming missiles, while swarms of small, agile drones could intercept missiles at a distance or confuse enemy targeting systems. However, these technologies remain in development, and their integration into existing defense systems will need further testing to prove effective under combat conditions. Another key aspect of defense for the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales is their ability to maneuver. 
Although aircraft carriers are inherently large and less agile than smaller ships, modern carriers like the Queen Elizabeth are designed with the ability to perform high-speed evasive maneuvers. This ability to shift position quickly, combined with a robust escort of smaller, faster vessels, helps to reduce the probability of a successful missile strike. In practice, this means that the carriers rely on a layered defense strategy, integrating various defensive assets, including fighter aircraft, destroyers, and frigates, to provide protection in the event of an attack. In terms of future warfare scenarios, the potential for coordinated missile strikes against these carriers could become more pronounced. These strikes could come from a variety of sources, submarines, aircraft, or even other surface vessels. In addition to missile threats, the use of cyber attacks and electronic warfare systems could further complicate efforts to defend these ships. These scenarios underline the need for rapid response times and seamless coordination between the carriers and their support fleet. As the Royal Navy adapts to these emerging threats, the importance of interoperability with NATO and allied forces becomes clear as multinational support could be the key to defending these critical assets. Looking ahead, the strategic value of these carriers in future conflicts, particularly in regions like the Indo-Pacific or the Mediterranean, will depend heavily on how well they can adapt to evolving missile threats. The Prince of Wales, for instance, continues to be a vital asset for the UK's naval ambitions, and it has been confirmed that the carrier will remain in service for the foreseeable future with no plans to decommission it in the near future, as reported by The Telegraph. While the Prince of Wales did not participate in NATO's largest exercise since the Cold War, Steadfast Defender, a recent report noted, the carrier is expected to play a key role in future operational deployments. In conclusion, while the Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales represent some of the most advanced warships in the world today, their vulnerability to modern missile threats cannot be ignored. As missile technology continues to evolve, the Royal Navy must remain vigilant, continuously upgrading defense systems, exploring new countermeasures, and refining tactics to ensure these carriers remain an effective and survivable part of the UK's naval power projection capabilities.